Brent and Amanda, we're live outside New Haven County Courthouse, where today family, friends, and of course, New Haven clergy came out very, very positive following their meeting with Middlesex State Attorney Michael Gaylor and New Haven State's Attorney, who is Patrick Griffin. A week after receiving the devastating news that 19 year old Mubarak Suleiman had been shot to death by Trooper Brian North after an alleged carjacking and police pursuit, the family feels justice will be served. They looked us in the eyes and told us that we should have faith in them. They're not gonna go, they're not gonna be biased. And we feel pretty confident. They're especially comfortable with the fact that the New Haven State's attorney will now be assisting in the investigation. That door has been open uh, uh, to us. We've built a relationship uh, over, over the last several years. Reverend Kimber said the family and clergy were also going to meet with West Haven Mayor Nancy Rossi about the incident since it happened in her city and some of the West Haven Police Department responded. We're not so sure that some of those uh, uh, guys or girls should be put on uh, administrative leave. Now, when we slow down the video from Trooper Josh Jackson's body camera, you can see Mubarak Suleiman turns to his right and either reaches down or toward the back seat before coming up with his right arm and hand. Was this why Trooper North shot? Reverend Kimber believes well, not. Well, well, they had tased him. Yes. They had tased him, and, and, and so that was a shock to him. And in other words, what Reverend Kimber is saying is that the tasing caused involuntary body movements and caused his right arm to come up. So that's, uh, that's his theory behind it. We're live here in New Haven, outside New Haven County Courthouse. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.